How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword and we finally get to look at the newest legend in Brahalla, which I'm sure by now you probably know is Thor. If you didn't know, well now you do. He he was just announced yesterday in the Brahalla dev stream. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what he looks like. Obviously you can see him right there, what he looks like. Uh, pretty cool rendition of Thor, I think. It looks, I don't know, about as what I would expect to be honest. Um, he has hammer and orb, which also kind of expected that we knew it would probably be an orb legend and uh, you know Thor has a hammer so it makes sense uh, let's go ahead and watch this little trailer first that they show um, unfortunately I can't use the sound because they have copyrighted music in there but let's go ahead and watch it so just showing off some of his signature moves here it's just the orb string right there I mean, he has lightning based attacks that um, is also expected. All right, let's go ahead and look at some actual gameplay here. I think about seven minutes here, we, we can look at some actual hey. gameplay. Look, look at look at that. It's like, hey, yo, hi doll, can I get that? Can I get that? <laughs> I do love his uh, we'll lightning video. teleporting yeah. oh, in his will. hammer. We'll, that we'll part play. is pretty Wait, awesome. No, 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 no. All right, let's there watch can, some actual gameplay you know, here. There can only so I don't know if that hammer, um, that's actually a really, really good move. It reminds me of Jala's sword neutral sig, where you just kind of uh, throw up a hitbox above you. I'm not sure if that's the down sig or neutral sig on the hammer that does that, where you just hold it up. But I like that a lot because, I mean, that counters so many different approaches. You know, people, especially like with scythe, people like to just float around and do down airs all day. That will definitely get them off of you. And then you see that orb uh, kind of diagonal attack. I think that's the neutral sig. I, I like that a lot. Kind of reminds me of uh, Yumiko's bow neutral sig. And then his down sig on the orb looks like he goes down like that, which is pretty cool. So the neutral sig goes up at the angle and the down sig goes down. I don't know. I don't know if it has active inputs or what. There you saw the sword side sig come out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The, the side sig actually comes out pretty fast as well. Here, let's pause this for a second. Uh, let's see. Looks like um, I already thought it was I'm the like last one to talk about Thor here, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I totally just, I don't well, know. We can look at some gameplay with some sound here. The there we go. Actually, no, they got this stupid music in the background. Um, in that it has... Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. I'll turn it down really low. So yeah, that's, that hammer sig right there though, that's, that's very useful. Like I said, the hammer side sig, he like throws it way, way to the side. I, uh, I was surprised at how far the hammer side sig actually can go. Wait, what was that? What was that sig he just did right there? Let me rewind it a second. Oh, come on, YouTube. All right, watch, watch the blue Thor. Yeah, that's a side sig. So it looks like he just kind of floats. Let's rewind it again, and let's slow it down a bit. I think that. It's been a long time since we've had a hammer legend. So it is kind of cool that we have that now. So he floats like a genie. And it looks like even if you float off the edge of the platform, you don't actually fall. You just keep on floating. So that is what it is. Man, I hope that raising the hammer. Oh, wow. So wait, he was on the ground and that still hit. Look, he. No, it doesn't hit on the ground. You actually have to jump into it. That that's that makes sense. So you can travel with that if you want. Whoa! Did you just see what the uh, the or orangish red haired uh, Thor just did? So I'm assuming that that is the side sig. But then what's the down sig? Man, I'm confused. So is the floating one, 
The side sig or the down sig? Because they both actually have floating attacks. Where one of them, he throws the hammer to the side, and one of them, he just kind of floats to the side, grabs you, and hits you. One of those is probably the neutral sig. I'm assuming that's the side sig, the one where they, they actually float and grab. Yeah, they just keep on showing that same one, but I want to, yeah, this one. So... That's a down sig. Okay, so the down sig actually you throw the hammer, it spins around and comes back to you. I really hope that the hammer's name is Mjolnir. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm a little disappointed with how the hammer looks. Now don't get me wrong, the hammer actually looks awesome if it was anybody else's hammer skin. But because I it's Thor's hammer, I think Mjolnir just would look a little bit more epic than that. I mean, we are talking about one of the most iconic weapons, like, of all time. That skin right there does not scream one of the most iconic weapons of all time. You know what I mean? But it's still a pretty nice skin. And honestly, speaking of skins, I can't wait to see the skins that they have for Thor. Um, because... I bet you they're gonna be awesome. I bet you the Asgardian hammer skin looks pretty cool with uh, Thor as well. You guys remember that uh, Dusk skin that makes him look like Loki? He's got the two horns on his helm. I it, now that they have Thor in the game, it almost makes me wonder if they're just gonna start adding more like Norse mythology gods and stuff. Like there's so many different gods in North, Norse mythology. Um, like my friend Bob the Builder said, which I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys know Bob the Builder. Yeah, that move's pretty cool. I like that. I like moves that you can just throw out a giant hitbox way far away from you and you, there's not a lot of uh, potential to get punished. I mean, you could pu punish that because you are a sitting duck while your hammer is flying, but it also can like create a lot of space if, if the hammer is in between you and the enemy. But yeah, uh, my friend Bob was saying that, you know, out of all the uh, gods that they could have done, they do Thor. And he he made the point that it's kind of boring in a way. It's kind of basic. And I kind of agree with that. Like, he could have, they could have easily have done a better, a different god. But at the same time, it is Brawlhalla. It does take place in Valhalla. The whole game is centered around Asgard and like, you know, the whole... That whole thing. So, honestly, it's kind of surprising that they haven't had Thor in the game by now. Uh, to be honest. Or any of the gods, for that matter. Uh, you know. So, on one hand, it is kind of boring. But on the other hand, expected. To be honest. And, you know, is trying to expand their audience. They're always trying to go more mainstream and show... Alright, let's just put it into uh, real time now so you guys can just enjoy what it looks like in real time. I mean, I, th I feel like that Blue Mammoth Games or BMG that they make this, uh, they make Brawlhalla, I feel like they're going like mainstream, you know, they're trying to, t they're trying to tap into some of that Marvel movie money, you know? Ever since uh, the Marvel movies have been making billions of dollars, you know? But then again, like I said, I mean, they maybe not. Maybe, I mean, it's probably a little bit of both. They're probably hoping that, you know, with Thor being one of the most recognizable characters in the world, maybe that'll bring some new people to Brawlhalla. And I get it, you know, that's, that's always their goal. Their goal is always to make the game as popular as possible. You know, the more people that play the game, the more money that they make, the more that they can make the game even better, hire more developers, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I'm hoping it's a good thing for, for Brawlhalla. Uh, but for the most part, I think most people agree with me when I say I like it better when they make original characters. You know, they're, Brawlhalla, some of the coolest characters are, are original, you know. In fact, almost all the characters in Brawlhalla are original. Almost all of them. Just the Shovel Knight characters and the uh, Thor and the other crossover skins. But, I mean, it's pretty much all the legends are original, so I give them credit for that. But I just hope that they don't start making more and more, you know, Norse gods. I, I don't mind one here every now and then, but 
but yeah, as long as they keep doing what they're doing, I mean, I think it'll be fine. I, I would like to see a different weapon announced uh, later this month. That would be nice. Uh, we, we're on our third orb legend. Usually they make about four legends with the weapon and then they come out with a new one, usually. Something around there. That orb is pretty cool. It does have a lightning bolt on there, but the lightning bolt should be yellow. I don't like how the lightning bolt's like a bluish green. I'd, I guess the lightning bolt does glow a little bit in the middle of the animation there, but... But yeah, so here's my takeaways. Let's go, let's rewind it a bit and look at his stats. So he has six force, four dex, seven defense, and five speed, which are pretty balanced. I like that. I would probably run deck stance because four dex is a little low. I would like to have five at least, especially considering a lot of his signature moves take a long time to recover. Um, the dexterity makes you recover faster. So even a, a you know a fraction of a second, a faster recovery can can make a big difference there. So I like his stats. My biggest takeaways are he's cool. I'm glad he's in the game. I, I look forward to seeing what the skins are that they're gonna come out with him, which I'm sure they'll unveil uh, next stream, probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'll probably make a video on that. I think that uh, he's going to be good for the game, and I look forward to playing him. Uh, and oh, his release date is going to be next Wednesday. So, what is that? Th 13th? March 13th, I think, is when he comes out. They also are coming out with a new chest, but there was some confusion. The chest was supposed to come out this week, but it's not. Uh, they, they had like an error or a glitch or something, and they weren't able to release the chest. And then they said that the chest was going to come out uh, next week, the same day as Thor. But then uh, Slashula said in the Twitch chat that the chest is not going to come out next week. And it'll come out instead then the following week, I think, or whenever the next chest rotation is. So we might be a little uh, late on getting the new chest. Uh, but the new chest, I forget what it's called, but it has three new skins. There was a Jala skin, a Sentinel skin, and... Uh, Someone else. I forget who the third one was. I want to say Sidra, but I could be wrong. But they all look pretty sweet. They all did look pretty sweet. The Jala skin and the Sentinel skin look pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, also next week is the uh, St. Patrick's Day event. So you can get the uh, Lucky Clover colors uh, starting next week as well. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think of Thor in the comments. I'm interested to see what you guys uh, have to say. I'm looking forward to him. That that neutral SIG right there is really cool. I, I look forward to trying out these SIGs. Um, if you enjoy the video, please drop a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla news and gameplay. And uh, as always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.